In today's video, we're going to perfect your G, D, E, grace note combinations. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and commenting below with any thoughts you might have. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. The G, D, E grace note combination is one of the foundational building blocks of Highland piping. There's a free PDF of the document I have here in the description below, so go find that link, print it out, put it on a tablet, have it in front of you so you can follow along. So while we might be able to stop the airflow readily through a practice channel like this one right here, stopping the airflow with your tongue or just your breath, you're not going to be able to do that on the Highland pipes. Instead, you're going to have to use either quick lifting grace notes or lowering grace notes, and you'll have a playlist up here of the individual grace notes so you can learn all about the grace notes there. But this video is about the specific application of the GDE grace note, and you're going to find them everywhere, sometimes in places you don't expect. It can be argued that even a Tara Lua is a GDE grace note combination, but more on that in a bit. So this pattern is going to involve the G grace note, the D grace note, and the E grace note. That kind of goes without saying. So it's kind of a heavy emphasis, a lighter emphasis, and a middle emphasis. So ba -bum -bum, ba -bum -bum. the higher the grace note, the more emphatic the implication is. So on this exercise sheet right here, we're going to start with the GDE combination with one note per beat, starting on low A, and we're going to kind of go around uh, various notes of the scale. Now we can do the GDE readily from low G, A, B, and C. Once you get up to D, there's not much you can do. Well, that's not true. There's plenty you can do on a D, but you can't do a GDE because once you're on D, you can't lift the D grace note. It's already in the air. So these are the four notes of the scale that we can separate using GDEs. We're going to start that right now. And it's very important that you use a metronome with this. This is about getting the timing of the motion down. So download a metronome. You can get free ones from all over the place. I'm using the Tempo app by Frozen Ape here, but Soundbrenner has a free one. There's the Piper's metronome. There's a bunch of metronomes out there. All of them work great. This is at 90 beats per minute, but put it at a speed where you can get the grace note to land exactly on the chirp of the metronome. They should be one in the same. When you hear that click, your finger should be closing for that grace note. And remember, your grace note should be very percussive motions. I don't want big, slow, bloopy fingers. I want quick, small, light, but snappy motions that should be more percussive than melodic. And not. And ready, go. I wouldn't worry about moving on to the next section of this exercise until you can get this to probably around 90 beats per minute like I did right now. Clean, accurate, grace notes landing on the beat, good small grace notes. But once you do have that, now we're going to do the same basic exercise, but now we're actually going to slow the metronome down a little bit. But now we're going to be subdividing the beat into three using the G to E grace notes. So now the G grace note itself will be landing on the beat with the D and the E happening between beats. And we want a nice, even triplet sound. Ba, 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 ba. One, two, three, two, two, three. G, D, E, G, D, E. G, D, E, G, D, E. Trying to keep them nice and even. All right, let's give this a go. So when you play at 60, maybe up it to, I don't know, 72. But 
don't go faster than you need. You want to do your best to try to make sure the G grace notes in this exercise when we're in the 6-8 time are landing on the beat. But do know that when we get to actual jigs on the Highland Pipes, we're trying to get up to as high as 120 or even higher on these GDE patterns. but we can also use GDEs to change notes. Now this particular combination is very common in Strauss Bay playing. It's often even called the Strauss Bay movement, but I've also heard them called trackums. But the idea is that you're gonna do a G grace note on a note, a D grace note on the same note, and then an E grace note down to a note below it. I'm gonna put the metronome at 90 and try the GDEs for changing notes. Again, no need to start that fast. If you need to slow it down, that's fine. Also know that here on YouTube, you can go to the little gear section that's at the bottom here and actually change the playback speed if you wanted. So if you are trying to play along with me, but any of these exercises are too quick, you can go to 75% of speed, 50% of speed, and maybe that can help you if whatever examples I'm playing are faster than you're ready for now, but still wanna play along, give that a try. Now I'm gonna slow the metronome down for this next one to 72. But again, pick the speed you need. But here, it's going to be more like they occur in the wild. In fact, I want to point out right now that here you have basically the same exercise in both places. Here you can see it's two sixteenths to an eighth. And here you can see it's a doubling with an E grace note down. But in reality, these are played pretty much the same way as you see here. You want to make sure that you always hear your doublings in there clear. And here you can see all the notes that are involved in it. So a G grace note to C and a D grace note on a C is the same as a C doubling, it's a G grace note to a C and a D grace note on a C. And on both examples, it's an E grace note taking you down to the low A. In any case, let's give this a try. And again, that applies for both this one and that one. I played them in the same way. Well, there you go, guys. Some GDE exercises that are really gonna help get those particular grace notes under control under your fingers. And I mentioned earlier that the Tara Lua is even a GDE in its own way. If you think about its application in a lot of tunes for those that have already moved on to some other things, if you're starting like, say, Scott and the Brave, you have an E, G grace note to a low A, down to a low G, a D grace note on low G, and an E grace note to the A. So you actually have a G, D, E. Yes, there's some note changes involved, but... And then after that, there's a G, D in the C doubling, an E grace note down. Then you have a C doubling up to an actual E. So that kind of mm, doesn't really count, but still a G, D, real E. And then there, after that little walk, you have a G, D in the C doubling and an E grace note down to A. So you have, what is that, three and a half? Yeah, you have three and a half G, D, E patterns in the first two measures of Scott and the Brave alone. And the next tune in the series, which will be the Jig Cork Hill, you're gonna find GDEs all over the place. So stay tuned for that. Well, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you got something out of the video, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified of when I post new videos. If you wanted to go the extra mile, I also have a Patreon and a special shout out to Miss Carrie Tresek, my number one supporter, but you'll see names now scrolling of folks. These are folks that contribute monthly to the channel. They often get early access to videos and other perks, so go head over and check out my Patreon. I also teach Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see down here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have a line of Command Your Bagpipe merchandise with things like hats and t-shirts and mugs and all sorts of stuff. So go over there, check it out and let the world know that you command your bagpipe. Well, again, thank you for watching everybody. I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper and until next time, cheers. Cheers.